Welcome back and in today's video I'm gonna do something uh, I haven't done in a long time which is just uh, sit here and talk to you um, give you guys a couple updates of stuff that's going on in my life without me saying um too much hopefully so I did I went to the hospital yesterday and we just kind of check up how my brain is doing has been doing since my accident I did an MMSE which is a it stands for mini mental state examination which I scored a 17 which is good I think because I'm I might pop up on the screen the the scale it gauges your cognitive functioning which 0 to 9 is not good uh, 10 to 19 is middle stage moderate uh, 20 to 23 is mild uh, cognitive impairment and 24 to 30 is normal range I scored a 17 uh, which is honestly a lot better than it was so that tells me that uh, my TBI and my cognitive functions is it's increasing it it's getting better um, I do have to go I have to start back to physical therapy for my leg because my leg was injured in the accident and it seems to not be getting any better uh, it, it wasn't as bad and I think it's because I was working out more. I was uh, doing my best to do stretches and stuff. But since this year's been a really difficult year, so I got extremely stressed out. And I don't know. I just it stopped going to the gym as much, which uh, I'm not not going to stop because I've always went to the gym, and it's been something that makes me a lot more happy. So. Uh, I gotta start that back. So physical therapy starts, I think, next week sometime. So that's going to be interesting. Um, let's talk about the year I've had so far. It's not very. It's not. It's not been the best year, but uh, I'm a, a big believer on uh, turning negatives into positives, which is what we've always done. If you've been a watcher for this channel for very long. Anytime something, uh, anytime we're faced with something that's just, it seems unsurmountable, um, we overcome. And that's a big message that I like to talk about here. Because we focus on turning our negatives into positives, and there's a big reason for that. It goes into positive thinking, law of attraction, a bunch of other things that I've, you've heard me talk about before on this channel talk about it a little bit now because uh well first of all how's everybody doing out there it's been a good minute since we've got to sit down like this uh but i do want to take the time to tell you guys that i am very 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 grateful for you and everybody that that watches my videos and everybody that finds something in my videos that helps them i noticed that a lot of people have been in the comment section and, and on discord they've been not feeling great they've been uh talking more negative and I want to talk about that it takes practice a lot of people I tell them I'm like what are you what are you practicing they say things to me like they can't help to be negative because all these things are happening in their life and I understand that to a degree because like I said I've not had the best year so whatever you're thinking you're also practicing practice feeling good about yourself practice uh, telling yourself uh, good affirmations like I am beautiful and I am uh, confident and just things like that I know that might sound silly but it really helps out and goes a long way I, I've compared it to learning how to play an instrument like if you're learning how to play guitar or something like that um, you're practicing that and when you first start are you good at it probably not uh, not as good as you'd like to be but you do get better and, and a lot of people don't uh, understand that that is that goes the same way with practicing things like compassion positivity uh, just being happy in general you're not going to be good at it at first and it might be a, some kind of bizarre concept to you but that's the case if you sit there and you think that you're you're that's right Greg you guys got to listen to Greg if you sit there and you think that you're worthless and that you're nothing you are actually practicing that 
and that muscle in your head is going to build and build and build and then you're just going to be really sad and i know a lot of people are bound by different things but everything starts in here and if i can stay positive then you can stay positive and i have you you have me we can help each other i just want to talk about my hair um i was wanting to grow out my natural hair color because the bleached part is like so damaged i was afraid if i kept bleaching it it was just gonna like fall out but uh i i don't like the way that it's cut i feel like the layers are all messed up i've had a series of just awful horrible uh fascinatingly disturbing haircuts and whatever hair grows back but i don't like the state that my hair's in i just kind of feel like i just want to shave the whole thing off at this point i don't know what to do with it i do want the, to put some colors in it but i'm afraid it's too damaged we uh, we're about right here on the natural hair but mainly i just wanted to ask you guys what you thought what do you think i should do tomorrow i have to go to the hospital that's why i'm doing this video i don't have time to do a proper video and i'm trying to get back to daily uploads because i miss doing them and i think it's since making videos makes me happy makes me feel better i feel like that's probably what i need to get back into and i gotta get back in the gym i gotta do i gotta i don't want to do these things but i need to get back in there i cannot just not do the things that are required of me or just push those things to the side my therapist told me and this is a really good thing i can share with you guys and because it, it's really helpful so he gives me an imaginary hat so i take the hat and i put it on and then he says to me everything under that hat is something that you can control and everything outside of the hat is out of your control very simple enough then he goes on to talk about false emotions and things that uh are ultimately out of my control maybe some things that i've i have guilt for that are consequently really not my fault a uh, good example is there are people in my family that i feel like their life situation is not as good as i would like it to be for them and that is something that's outside the hat i want to help them i've worked very hard in in my career to be able to be in a position that i can help them and not just them but other people but i have a, a certain amount of guilt because i've put so much time into what i'm doing here that i feel like if i was a part more of a part of their life more of an influence then their lives would be a little bit better and that is outside of the hat it is not something I can control and it's called I think he said it was a false emotion which is was really profound to me because I never thought of it like that so I have this guilt because I wasn't there but the thing about it is is the decisions that they have made the decisions that we've all made have led us to the point that we are in life I I can't control their thoughts and their actions I can only control me and that is a, a powerful powerful message um when you start trying to go outside of the hat and trying to control all these other things that's where you're going to get anxiety depression and all these things like that and i'm not a, uh, a licensed mental health expert or anything like that but this is coming from somebody that is licensed in mental health and you know everybody's different so keep that in mind but uh lastly I'm here for you guys and I'm not going anywhere things have been rough we'll find those within those rough things the best qualities the best parts and we'll focus and emphasize on that and we'll build on that because that's what we do here uh, so if you guys need me you know how to reach out to me you can reach out to me on Instagram the dot repzilla Twitter at Zilla rage uh, any way you want to get a hold of me that's easiest for you i'm here for you i'm working on a conspiracy video might have it out tomorrow and if you have any suggestions for that just let me know below also going to do the sub sunday next sunday so i will take a suggestion and it doesn't matter what it is I'm just going to pick one and we're just going to roll with it which should be exciting so i'll see you in the next video